up sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats here with another banger in a nutshell reaction for you i still don't know how to pronounce her name it's curses ghost but we're checking out their brand new video called the last thing to ever happen in the universe i'm guessing this is gonna absolutely terrify me just like the last one did because there's so many things going on in the universe that you don't want to know that have happened or do happen and this dude gives you terrifying science, but I'm hyped to learn. But before we do, make sure you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to their channel. And chat, we are so close to 100,000 subs. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. We're trying to get there before Christmas. So thank you very much. But enough talking. Let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Chill, baby let's go woo -woo. the universe today is happy and healthy with exciting things going on okay but at some That's point cool. the nights will turn dark everything hey, that once we're already was starting off bad peacefully sleep forever but what is the last thing that will ever happen and when will it be it turns out there is such a thing and you probably haven't heard about it let's travel to the end of the universe and look at the last thing. After a messy birth, I it's our universe was a sleepy baby, warm and dark, filled with swirling clouds of hot hydrogen and helium. The story of creation is a story That's of cool. this gas and where it will end up. Shortly after, the universe got busy making the first generation of stars. They were massive and lived violent lives, forging new elements, only to release most of them when they blew up. Countless stars were born and refined the gas available in the universe, cycling. So chat, let me know in the comments, because I thought I thought space is endless. Isn't doesn't it just keep going on for it forever? Matter around, each generation giving most of its gas and fresh elements to the next. But not all gas is returned. Every time a new generation of stars forms, they also make more and more red dwarfs that burn slowly and live for trillions of years. When wow. they die, they don't give their gas back to the universe, but turn, turn into a black white hole? dwarfs. So red dwarfs lock up more gas forever. So more holes. gas is locked forever in other remains of dead stars, neutron stars, and black holes, yeah, which is bad no word. as it reduces the material available <laughs> for science. new stars. Today, the universe is a great home for us and will remain so for billions of years. But most of the gas has been used up or trapped over 90% of the stars that will ever be born have been born already. To get to wow. the last thing to ever happen, all other things need to happen first. The next few hundred billion years will be fun and a great time for galactic exploration. Yeah, nice. Great but success, step you by like. step, large stars and stars like our sun will die out. Eventually, almost all the stars will be red dwarfs slowly dying. The end of everything, but not quite. In a few trillion years, the cosmic gas will finally have run out. About 88% of the mass of every galaxy will be white dwarfs, 2% neutron stars and black holes, and about 10% gas giants and sad brown So it literally just dawned on me. So, so he said 90% of all stars, suns, have been made. Roughly 10% still will be made. But that sooner or later, every star will die. So all life on all planets, trillions of years from now, sooner or later. Wow, dude, that's that's getting dark. Dwarf I don't want to think about that. White dwarfs I don't care are if the corpses might. of old stars. Not Grands, much bigger kids, than Earth, kids, kids, but kids. on average, as massive as half our sun, some even much more. This makes them the third densest objects in the universe, after neutron stars and black holes. About a million times denser than the sun today. Since they used to be active stars, their surface can be as hot as 150,000 degrees. White dwarfs are dim, hot, dense spheres that don't do anything anymore. But eventually, even white dwarfs will die huh? because they're so losing sad their little dwarf. heat. It takes at least 10 trillion years, more than 700 times longer than the current age of the universe. As they do their cooling down, the universe around them will irreversibly grow dark, as more and more white dwarfs burn out 
and turn into dead husks, black dwarfs. Spheres of death as cold as space itself, invisible against the dark backdrop. Over wow. trillions and trillions of years, every object in every galaxy is eventually either ejected into the void or its orbit decays and it will fall into the central black hole and be destroyed. In about a quintillion years, all galaxies have evaporated and every object is on its own, in the center of its own observable universe, emptiness as far as can be seen in any direction, traveling through black nothingness. This is Still, so dark! There are things that will happen. Black holes are dying, slowly. They'll fizzle away by emitting Hawking radiation until they're so small that they die in a final flash of light. This will take about a Google years, 10 to the power of 100 years, until the last supermassive black hole dies. A number so absurd, there's nothing to compare it to. Maybe some living beings could have survived around black holes, but even this science fiction option ends now. After this unsettling amount of time, we're not even close to the end. Now is the time of the black dwarfs. It turns out there's some weird physics going on inside the dead husk of stars. The weird physics of black dwarfs. A black dwarf is a sphere the size of Earth, as massive as a star, but almost as cold as absolute zero. Stars wow. stay alive because of their intense heat in their cores. So why do black dwarfs not collapse into a black hole? What keeps them together? Deep inside a black dwarf, matter is squeezed to know. densities millions of times greater than anything we see on Earth. The pressure is so great that electrons can't combine with the nuclei to form atoms. Instead, matter is weird, degenerate. The nuclei are compressed by the weight of the star, locked into a rigid lattice, while the electrons form a plasma between them. And these electrons hold the star together. We're simplifying, but imagine matter as a subway train and electrons okay, as passengers. Let's, let's, if let's there are dumbify empty seats, it for me. passengers spread out because they care a lot about their personal space. But as a black dwarf is so incredibly dense, this is like squishing more and more passengers into our train. Gravity is pushing in, trying to collapse it. The passengers are forced to sit and stand close together, which they hate. And so the passengers, our electrons, try to push out against gravity as hard as they can. This way, the electrons that are having a horrible time in the crowded train that's the black dwarf hold up the star. Everything else in the universe may have crumbled already, but these tiny particles push against each other until the end of time. Or they would, if quantum mechanics didn't ruin everything. Quantum mechanics, duh! Simplifying a lot. When particles <laughs> get know. close enough, sometimes they can jump at each other and fuse together. A process called quantum tunneling. This happens constantly uh, in stars because tunneling. of their intense heat. It's one of the key reasons stars can fuse elements into new ones. But it also happens at a temperature near absolute zero. Just, well, mind-numbingly slowly. This is the final step to creating the last interesting thing to ever happen in our universe. Here, in this lone black dwarf, something fantastic occurs. Nothing happens for a trillion years. Nothing at all. Can you imagine that? But then, a single fusion reaction. Two carbon nuclei combined by quantum tunneling to become magnesium. Another 100 trillion years pass. It happens again. Then nothing for another bazillion years. Oh, two oxygen nuclei combine into silicon. As eons pass, the nuclei in the frozen black dwarf slowly combine, making new heavier nuclei. And these take even longer to fuse, but given Turns enough time, big they eventually will. Remember the breathtaking amount of time it took for a supermassive black hole to evaporate? That's a brief moment in comparison to what's going on here. The difference between a second and trillions of years has lost all meaning. Over a time Ooh, excuse so me. absurd that it has no name, nuclei keep fusing into heavier elements. <laughs> Ooh, Until, excuse me. when silicon nuclei fuse, they form nickel-56. Nickel-56 is radioactive, which means it's unstable. And when it eventually decays and turns into iron, it emits two positrons, antimatter electrons. And these two positrons find two electrons and annihilate them and themselves. Which is a problem. Remember how the uncomfortable electrons produce the pressure to hold the star together. Destroying the electron means fewer friends to help them hold up the star. Losing an electron does not give them more space to scratch their butts. It just makes gravity squeeze harder, the walls closing in on those uh -oh. that remain. In the case of the most massive black dwarfs, this is catastrophic. Bit by bit, 
the black dwarf turns into a sphere of iron and more electrons are annihilated. For at least 10 to the power of 1,000 years, almost, but not quite forever, there's no visible change in the entire universe. And then, finally, the last thing to ever happen happens. Explosion. The black dwarf has lost one too many electrons. It can no longer support its immense mass and goes into an uncontrolled collapse, a supernova. It first implodes and then explodes as bright as a galaxy and fills the empty universe with light again. A beautiful wow. moment nobody will get to enjoy. And then, as quickly as it began, it's all over. Darkness again. Emptiness. That was the last thing that will ever happen. The universe may now be truly dead. But don't be bummed out about it. This is so far away in the future that forever hardly describes it. Today, the universe is the best place it could be for us. And you can sleep tight tonight, knowing the last interesting thing that will ever happen is forever long away. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me sleep better, bro! I don't know if that makes for me now, sleep better! There are still plenty of interesting things to discover, and the younger you start discovering, the more you... Alright, let me bring you in, chat. Dude, this dude is super smart, and I love even though like he's using super big words and scientific phrases and stuff that's hard to understand he still breaks it down that makes it so we can understand it and learn but again this is it's about terrifying real stuff real life that's terrifying like the end of everything however uh, any of our bloodlines would no longer exist by then so it's not anything any of us need to worry about but it's still terrifying but i had an absolute blast reacting this i'm in love with this channel, I love learning stuff. In a nutshell, Kurzgesagt is amazing. Let me know what are some other ones you want me to check out. And make sure you show In a Nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel. And if you enjoy my reaction, please join the Sauce Gang by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And remember, it's easy sleep and make beats. And as usual, be kind of one another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Ha ha! Get them for the Sauce Gang. Peace out, champ.